What'd you think about the can yeah, the ban, the cancellation? I mean you really can't I mean, hell can you ban his are they banning all his videos or something like that? Or are they just banning him from being on social media? Because I mean the shit is out. So, so he's banned on Instagram and Facebook and he was already banned on Twitter and he was ban and he's banned on um YouTube now. Now the thing the interesting thing about this whole situation is He's not, he wasn't posting no videos himself. It was all his fans. Yeah. They were just kept re yeah. uploading his videos. Yeah. So, um, them banning him is interesting because it's not like he was putting out that content. Yeah. And I think, I don't, it's one of them things like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kevin Samuels. Mm -hmm. He just told the truth in a way that most people didn't, you know. Yeah. It was hard to digest. Does he remind you of Patrice O'Neal? Hell, yeah, in a he, sense, he, he just told the truth, he, the hard truth. He reminds me of Patrice O'Neal, just not as palatable. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, I can see that. Like, him just sat, looking at the camera, women can't yeah, drive. Yeah, yeah, Like, that... that Patrice O'Neal was the same thing. He, he, it was just in a joking form, Yeah, bro. Patrice O'Neal could give you something you didn't want to hear and take you yeah, right to the edge yeah, of when you were yeah, mad yeah, and yeah, then make you laugh. Yeah, and you're yeah, like, wow. Yeah, yeah. Because all comedy really is just truth. Truth, that's it. That's so him being able to flip it and make someone laugh, it makes it more of a lighter experience. So they're not as mad at him. Yeah. Females see Andrew and they get angry. Yeah, for sure. He say some with some pretty, some crazy shit. But I, I don't think it's just him. You banning him ain't going to take away the truth. No, it, it kind of. You know what I'm saying? It's it kind of shows you're scared of him. Yeah. Bruh is an elite, bro. I'm no, no. not going to lie to you. I haven't seen, like, bruh is the main character in this bitch. <laughs> for real. That's, what, that's, that's his favorite thing to say is you got to beat the Matrix. Yeah. Yeah. He got that shit figured out, bro. I ain't going to hold you. Now, bro. like him doing that multi-level multi marketing shit yeah. and getting everybody to promote him yeah, and yeah. then blowing up in, like, such a short span of time. Short span. Short span. Bro. And it's crazy how quickly people are scared to turn on him. Like yeah. people that said, "Oh, I think his video is funnier now." Like I'm glad this misogynist is off because they're scared. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna come back on them. Yeah, and I think Andrew Tate just came at a time that's like it's very sensitive Volatile. times, yeah. and everybody's you know, and just to see that masculine, that alpha, it's like God. Like I don't think people can handle that, you know. And the thing is, he spoke to a lot of people. Like the fact that he blew up, it wasn't just because yeah. it was hated. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. I took a lot of gems from just you know. It's certain shit I didn't agree with. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of shit that I did agree with and how to step as a man. And, I, mean, like, I watched one of his videos. He was like, Spider-Man's like the most pussy superhero ever. Damn, what was the reason? And he said, what did he say? Crap, I don't want to misquote him. Basically, all he said was saying was, bro was a nerd. Got bit by a spider. Still was a nerd. And he said, mm. he said, um, then his uncle died or some shit. And... He didn't even kill the kill bad guys. Person. Yeah, <laughs> he was like, yeah. he was like, that was my. Yeah. I would have hung him from my spider web. <laughs> yeah, that's some Andrew Tate shit. Right yeah, there. for sure, for sure. Damn, I'm kind of. Damn, I haven't seen a couple videos in a while though. I some guess. will still pop up for me on my YouTube algorithm. Um, mm. So, what do you think about censorship? What you mean, like, I mean, well, like what they did to him. Speech type of, I mean, yeah. We get into them times. I don't think people really even realize that. We just get into them times where you can't really say much, man. You can't offend. Like, you got to watch who you offend. And, like, comedy isn't Def Jam. Like, you know what I'm saying? You you can't. You, I, you just can't no more. My thing is this. It's like, um, it's cool you want to censor somebody. It's, that's, that's a cool idea yeah. in theory. But who dictates who can, what is right and what's, and what's wrong? wrong? I, that's what I'm like. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, let, like, let's say all people that's judging him right now, like, hey, I'm glad he's on the platform. Yeah. What if they deplatformed you for something you did back in the day? That's very true. That's very true. That's I like mean, who gets to dictate yeah. what's right and what's wrong yeah. with what someone can and can't say. It just goes back to freedom of speech. We we just realizing we don't got as much freedom as we really think we do. Because um, I forgot. Ooh, I was into podcast. They're like, if you're gonna censor him, you censor everybody. Yeah. Sen Make it an even playing field, and yeah. that's cool. But if you aren't gonna do that, yeah. it's not even a good system. I was about to say, I don't even think we, I don't even think we should have like a censorship uh, system. I think it should be like an understanding. Like we need as a country, as a people, to have an understanding of like, stop being in your feelings. Like stop. Everybody take things to heart. You can be like fat. Oh my god, the fat community. You can be like gay. Phobic. The gay community is like. <laughs> 
it's like you can't say nothing and you can find yourself to just I don't know. Man. I seen a post that said um working out is fat phobic. Uh not, <laughs> shit like that. It's like bro, like who's like if you that sensitive, man, you you really don't need to be here, bro. Well, I'm sorry. What I learned is you don't even have to respect everybody's opinion. You don't. The the thing is this, you have to understand though that we're not a monolith. Yeah. Me and you, yeah. like, yeah. I call you yeah. my twin because yeah. we agree on yeah, a for lot sure. of shit. For sure, for sure. There, like, like, one thing we disagreed on was like crypto. That was the, like the only yeah, thing yeah, I can remember yeah, we disagreed yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. But I respect yeah. your opinion because yeah, you yeah, like, yeah, yeah. nigga, I yeah, want to get for rich. Sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. And, for sure. and, and, and <laughs> I remember he was trying to explain NFTs to me. He was like, nigga, it's Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like trading cards, my guy. Yeah, no. yeah, for sure. yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Even though we don't have the same opinion, yeah. that doesn't mean it devalues somebody else's. Yeah, yeah, Andrew yeah, yeah. Tate is who yeah. he is because of experiences, and that's what yeah. develops us all. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was saying, like one thing, like one thing I do like a lot that he says is talking about how weak people are nowadays. Yeah. Like one thing he said was, if you want to kill yourself, get a six pack first. Mm. If you put in that hard work yeah. and you see how the yeah. results, yeah, that's good advice. It's just very harsh. Oh yeah, I think, like I said, I don't think people are just ready for that that type of just energy he brought. And like you said, I, I'm glad you said that. It's like talking about just being diverse. I don't. I think we we going away from that. No, definitely. Everybody's just the same. You can see it in rap music. You can see it in social media. Everybody's gonna be the same, and it's gonna be if you unique, you really gonna pop, bro. I feel like that. And that's why he's just, he popped like he did because he was so fucking unique. Okay, and one thing he said though was like, people kept saying was like homophobic. Yeah. He said, if there's a guy that drowned and they were like, hey, does anybody here know CPR? Yeah. He says, I do. Yeah. He says, save him. He's like, no. Nah. <laughs> so he said, yeah. he's like, why? Okay. He said, I'm not gay. Jesus. How do you feel about that one? No, nah, I'm not. Like, if I could save a person, I'm going to save a person. Right, I, but I, what, are you? Hell you know, yeah! He let the nigga drown. Nah, he let the nigga drown. I'm saving. Yeah, I'm, for sure. I'm like, come here, bro. <laughs> nah, I ain't for the kiss the nigga. Bro. That's CPR. Yeah. Uh, we gonna. I mean, oh, if I gotta save you, I'm gonna save you regardless, bro. I ain't gonna be like, nah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to pass on this. I'm one. gonna have to pass on this, my guy. It's it's definitely scary times we're coming in. Um, yeah. This one dude. He's a comedian. I think his name Tim Dillon or something. He had a speech. He had 